I wonder if he know that I know he's lying right now. Why the f you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my god. Stop fing lying. What's up guys, Sal here. So there are a lot of things in this world you just cannot change. You can't change the past. You can't argue with stupid flat earthers. You can't stop Apple from making ugly looking Mac Pros. And you cannot stop Huawei from lying. Ever since Huawei was under the scrutiny of the US government, we made to believe that Huawei was working on a new operating system named Hongmeng OS, which is an alternative to Android. This wasn't any baseless rumor that was originated out of nowhere but Huawei officials are the ones who said they are working on a new operating system which could eventually replace Android. Huawei CEO said this last month and I quote, a new OS would be available in the fall of this year and at the latest next spring that it had been in the works since 2012 that it would be compatible with all Android applications and web applications and that performance would be improved by more than 60%. Not only him but the VP of Huawei also also said Huawei is in the process of potentially launching a replacement. It's not something that Huawei wants. We are very happy being part of the Android family, but Hongmeng is being tested mostly in China. And not only these guys, but there were a lot of Huawei officials, including the founder, mentioned about the Hongmeng OS and how it's 60% faster than Android and Mac. But now, out of nowhere, Huawei is saying that the Hongmeng OS was never meant for smartphones. It's just for industrial use and they intend to continue using Android. Catherine Chen, a senior vice president, told the press yesterday that Huawei's Hongmeng OS contains a magnitude of code less than what a modern consumer device operating system would require. Hongmeng was not fit to replace Android as it was intended for the Internet of Things devices. Which is BS in my opinion as it contradicts everything that Huawei has been saying ever since they were blacklisted by the US government. Huawei was vocal about their new OS. They were publicly saying that their new operating system is almost ready and they're working hard to make themselves less dependent on the US tech which also includes Android. And now since the ban has been lifted, Huawei all of a sudden took a U-turn and are now saying they love Android and their OS was never meant to replace it. Look, we already know Huawei is synonymous with lying because there were multiple instances in the past, but this is some next level of lying. It makes me wonder, all of this is done as a PR thing to shore up consumer confidence in the brand amidst this whole US banning Huawei thing. And honestly, it worked. It got a lot of us excited about a new operating system that could challenge Android and iOS. But Huawei needs to understand this. If the situation between the US and China gets worse for some reason, and Huawei is blacklisted again from using Android, then what are they gonna do? This trick may have worked for now, but I'm sure it's not gonna work again. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. Okay.